We're back with another exclusive and hilarious analysis of how the streets and no jumper mix like oil and Kool-Aid. First off, if you didn't get a chance to watch this episode of Lush One being interviewed by Adam, Brick Baby, and DW Flames, I suggest you got watch it as soon as possible for the endless stream of great and funny content. For this video here, we're only going to focus on the phone call that Almighty Suspect and his father had with Lush One. Before we get into that hilarious content, it's important for everyone to know that Lush and the No Jumper crew actually got up during the interview to catch a fade with Suspect outside of the workplace No Jumper Studios. Yes, you guessed it right. The same work scene that everyone is claiming they want to keep professional. Check it out. Hello. Hey, I'm so many. What's up, bro? Oh, so Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. What up, bro? All right, all right. So you feel me? The nigga's in the car right now. It's it's it's, it's, it's great heavy traffic, but I'm with the nigga that you was eluding. That's his nigga. You want to talk to him? I don't even know what you're talking about. Come on, big ass nigga. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Let me turn this light on right quick. Hey, look, the song is nice for me. Hey, what's cracking, Lush? Come to me. What's cracking? Those are drums. I don't even know what I, 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 at this point, I don't even know what this is about, bro. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, the only thing it ain't about me or my name, like, ain't about no kitchen and no shit. Oh, no. Hey. Wait, wait, wait a minute now, Lush. Did he forget that this is being recorded on live? Why would he lie like this when anyone who watched the interview from the beginning knows that Lush absolutely knew what Suspect and his father were talking about? Lush was popping it and raising his voice with a lot to say about Suspect when they were having a clear back and forth between men. This is why Lush is insane for lying about this. Suspect was and still is looking like one of the weakest links in the mix. Some may think that he's the man because he got Lush to fall back and stutter in fear over the phone call of his father. But let's just really think about that. It's such a blessing for a man from Suspect's background to still have his father in his life. Why would you want to get him involved in anything that can potentially get him taken away from you? Worst part is, why didn't Suspect stand on his own business? He needs his father's help with a fate against Lush One? No disrespect to Lush, but how much of a street guy can you really be if you need help from your OG against a fade versus the cocaine bot? This in itself is hilarious, but the way that Lush is backpedaling is also going to end up being the reason why he adds fuel to the fire. Lush is just as equally driven to get the respect of the streets as he is with getting the respect of the viewers watching him on social media. In other words, Lush is going to make a few conscious decisions to make this situation worsen after realizing that he may be viewed as a punk if he doesn't stand up for himself. And this we have to realize stems from the running joke about Lush turning down the fade from Flacco. Lush is way too focused on how he is being viewed than on who he really is. <laughs> Is this a, hold on, bro. Is this a cool right here? Is this a big bro? Yeah. Big bro. Yeah, big bro. Yeah, hold on, hold on a second. Have I ever done anything? I'm gonna let you know. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm gonna tell you and anybody else with me. Hey. Hold on. That's it. That's it. Honestly, that's it. I said if you bring up some paperwork, it will. Right. Hey, 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 this is Rick. I said if you bring up some paperwork, it will get serious. So, I saw you in question you about that, and you were, you was all good. Whoa. Good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big, big bro, big bro. I, I, I did it like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, now, I, I didn't mention your name. I didn't say anything about you switching. I don't know. You said Almighty name is a paper. Yeah, but that was an Almighty talking. Hold on, 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 this telephone pressing that Lush is experiencing is coming from the phone of Adam. While everyone is arguing, yelling, and talking over each other, Adam is just sitting back silent as he profits off of their drama and traumas. The most boss thing that Adam does is coaching who should speak next. If you go back, Adam actually stops the over-talking because he could hear that suspect was ready to say something wild to Lush. Also, we have to acknowledge that Adam is familiar with Suspect and his father from work and from prior issues at work and Adam is going to do anything possible to show that he is not on the side of Lush. This is all even worse because Lush keeps on calling Suspect's father Big Bro, as if they are still cool, while Big Bro is literally on his way to put fist and feet all over Lush for his statements. 
And of course, we are not going to forget how Suspect went and got his daddy for an issue amongst two grown men. The fact that nobody from No Jumper is questioning Suspect getting his daddy to fight his battles makes me think that Suspect is really holding weight up there, or at least the thought of problems with Suspect's father is preventing anyone from talking crazy about Suspect. Except Lush One. Okay now, let me admit that I am actually a fan of Lush One also known as the Cocaine Bot, since the days of his presence in the world of battle rap. But I'm not sure if Lush is really just more scared than I ever seen him right now, or just heavy on some sort of drug, because it seems like he believes that just because you were friends with someone for a long time, they can't have an issue with something that you say or do. Why does Lush keep mentioning how long they knew each other and how many years they went without having any issues? In every sense of the scenario, it seems like Lush is actually making the situation worse. If Lush really believes in their friendship being real, Lush should know what are the best ways to calm his longtime friend down. But once again, if the cocaine bot is promoting his cocaine bot name, it would make sense why everything he is saying and doing is just making things go from sort of bad to absolutely terrible. Will Lush wisen up or sober up in time to fix this before it escalates? See, 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 Sus made it a little bit more complicated when he confronted what you said. He said something completely different than what you said. Let me ask you. 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 Let me ask you a question, Cool. Cool, do you think? Keep his name out of your mouth. Do you want to run a fame up? Cool, cool, cool. Let me get that. Cool. I just can't. Look, at the end of the day, I already came outside. Why did you find him at this point? Can we come outside? Can we come out right now? Right now? I did. I already came outside. I already came outside. He said he was outside. I said, look, how about this? Then how about this? How about this, big bro? How about this, big bro? When nobody's around and it's just you, me, and your son. How about this? How about, how about this? Let's do this tomorrow. You feel me? And there you have it. The moment that Lush One had the perfect opportunity to de-escalate the problem, he brings up something that made it worst. When Suspect's father asked Lush, what exactly do you want to do? Lush did not reply directly to that question. Instead, Lush decides to bring up the fact that he was already ready, willing, and able to fight Suspect earlier when he thought Suspect was outside. By the way, time for another break to discuss that weak move that Suspect pulled. Why would you get rowdy on the phone with Lush? Tell him that you are pulling up as soon as possible. Send a message to Adam to tell Lush to come outside. Then when Lush arrives for the fade, you call back and say that you're stuck in traffic. Suspect is only getting away with the most weakest moves ever from a so-called street guy, because everyone has respect for his father. This is a dangerous game being played. But back to the original point, Lush was either too scared to bow down and be humble or he was just too ignorant and didn't want to look weak on camera. When Lush had the question asked to him about what he wants to do with everything now, Lush could have easily said I want to apologize for everything and gave his word to never speak negatively about suspect again. But when those no jumper cameras are on, it is extremely easy to get caught up with when keeping it real goes wrong. Watch out with trying to live a life of content over everything. Because I came outside to catch your son's fame, and he lied. He said he was outside, but he wasn't. You feel me? Get up on Adam. Get up on Adam. 
The chaos has reached its peak of ignorance. Once again, we are discussing how a word that was said on No Jumper is causing potential drama to occur in the streets. Lush messed up by mentioning how weak suspect was for telling him to come outside and not being there. But although that is an absolute fact, Lush should not have been mentioning that fact at that moment. To someone who was giving him a chance to make things right and back off with the negative talks about suspect, the moment suspect got back on the phone, he lit the match on the fuel that Lush spilled and caused the flames to get out of control. It's definitely time to hear what the local gang members have to say about this. Both Brick Baby and DW were trying to get Lush to come clean with the paperwork talk, but now it's looking like it's too late. Once a word that is viewed as disrespectful is said, it causes many people to go back to that juvenile state of mind and feel like sticks and stones break bones, and so do words said on No Jumper. Do you notice how Lush is absolutely ignoring Brick Baby as he questions him about the paperwork? Lush admitted already on the phone that he only said that he's not the one with paperwork on them, but now he wants to act like they shouldn't expect him to clarify what he means. This is interesting on many levels now. I watched this entire interview while it was live, and I was initially confused about why Suspect went to get his father directly after hanging up the phone and telling Lush to come outside. Instead of Suspect just being weak or soft-minded, it's starting to seem like Suspect got his father involved into this, because he was already nervous about the potential of this information coming out, and once Lush mentioned the word paperwork, it made Suspect lose himself, because he knows that if the reputation of his father crumbles, so will the protection and reputation of Almighty Suspect. It's amazing to see how people can expose themselves, once they are scared of something. This situation went from Lush looking like he lost his mind, and now, Lush looking like the bearer of bad news that the almighty suspect family is trying to silence. I have absolutely no idea of what paperwork they're talking about, but now I'm on alert to find out, is Lush really holding onto a trump card? The only reason why I think this is all irrelevant is because Lush is clearly already coping a plea, when he keeps saying, Big bro, big bro, I know you're not a snitch big bro, come on big bro. Let's see how Big Bro feels about the trump card that Lush has. I don't know that there were some, was some paperwork that, alluded to, that was alluding to some things that me and my heart I know is accurate or true or can be misinterpreted because of like the age 
certain things and the times of certain things when they transpired. So I can see why I don't remember when people were trying to call you a snitch and this and that. And of course, I always offended you because I know you're not really a snitch. When I said that shit, or when I said it to get under your skin, and you was being very disrespectful to me. So why should I respect you? Cool. So who was that? that makes sense, though. I, 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 no, no, it don't. That sounds like some bitch shit. Wow, the father is seriously standing on business about this paperwork. First off, Lush didn't even explain everything about the paperwork. All Lush really did was set the record straight that when he said, he's not the one with paperwork on him, he was definitely talking about suspect's father and not suspect. The only thing Lush is clearly trying to gain right now is some sort of understanding on why he was the one who actually bought the father into this, without anyone else having any idea what Lush was talking about. It was hilarious to hear how DW Flames got flamed by the father for trying to give credit to Lush for his ridiculous explanation. The worst thing about it is that DW Flames was already in the hot seat for a word that he used, so it's probably not going to age well. Hearing him vouch for Lush and his reasons for using one of the most disrespectful words in the streets. Lush came up to interview Adam mainly about his past beefs with Flock O oh, and his current beef with Dijon. The outcome of Lush having some serious beef now with someone who used to be his close friend is insane. Check out how this conversation ends and let me know if you think this is over, will get better, or get worse. Always appreciative of your time. Don't get for real. Okay, so this, uh, this, uh, this the whole thing right now. Hold on. Go I know Lush really well. That's what he said. I've seen Lush. And my motive when I've seen Lush was to go up on him and take his temperature about the shit that was happening already, right? Now, everything's all good. It was no issue. So, all of that shit to where you keep bringing shit back up and some shit happened last year. I'm mad.